Hello students, welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss Kirchhoff laws. Kirchhoff explained two important rules which are applicable to the circuits containing batteries and resistors. And the first law is the junction law and second one is loop law. Here, first let us discuss the junction law. Let us consider a point P and here the number of connecting wires are 5 wires are connected meeting at this point. The junction where 3 or more connecting wires meet. So, P is a junction. According to junction law, at any junction the sum of number of currents into junction equal to the sum of number of currents moving out or leaving the junction. So, here let us consider these are the currents. Let us consider I1, I2, I3, I4, I5. If you observe carefully, the currents I1 and I3 and I5, these three currents are into the junction towards the, the, the currents are moving towards the junction and I2 and I4 currents are leaving the moving out from the junction. According to junction law, the currents in the sum of the currents into the junction, the sum of the currents into the junction i1 plus i3 plus i5 these three are into the junction equal to the sum of the currents moving out from the junction i2 and i4 these two currents so the arrow mark indicates it is moving out from the junction this current also moving out from the Current. So, the sum of the currents into the junction equal to the sum of the currents moving out from the junction which means there is no accumulation of the currents at the junction. How much current is coming towards the junction? The equal current is moving out the junction. So, there is no accumulation of current at the junction. This is about the junction law. And this junction law is based on the, the conservation of charge and this is about the junction law. And next come to the loops law. Loops law explains that the algebraic sum of increases and decreases in potential difference across various components in the circuit must be equal to 0. Let me explain. Let us consider a loop containing battery, resistor, let us say the resistance is R1 and one more resistor, let us say this is the R2 and battery and one more resistor, let us say this is the R3. Then here this is negative terminal and it is a positive terminal, negative terminal and positive terminal. Here you can start from any component in this loop. So, for example, I am starting from the battery. So, let us say this is the potential difference of this battery is V1. So, as we move in this loop and again come to the first point, in various components the potential difference may increase or decrease in various components. But the net increase or decrease as we reach the first position that is equal to 0. The algebraic sum of increases and decreases in the potential difference in various components in closed loop must be 0. Here the potential difference is increases and here potential difference decreases. If here potential difference increases and in this battery the potential difference decreases. As we reach the first position again, the total 
potential difference how much potential difference increases the equal potential difference decreases the net change in the potential difference as we reach to post first position that is zero so this is about the loop law and when you are calculating the potential differences we must to follow the sign convention so the sign conventions are the first one the potential difference or emf is taken as negative when you move from positive terminal to negative terminal in the battery if you move from positive terminal to negative terminal in the battery i am moving in this direction then here that emf or potential difference is taken as negative value similarly if you move from negative terminal to positive terminal negative terminal to positive terminal if you move negative terminal to positive i am moving left to that then in this case the potential difference or emf in the battery should be taken as positive okay in the calculation of potential difference in the resistance we must follow the direction of electric current the direction of electric current in the resistance gives the sign for the potential difference in the resistance so in the resistor if we measure the potential difference in the direction of the current flow so the current this is the resistor and here this is the direction of electric current in the electric current in the resistor and we we are moving in the direction of electric current we are measuring in the direction of electric current then this value is taken as negative value if you move if you calculate the potential difference in the resistance in the direction of electric current then that is taken as negative value and similarly and fourth sign is if you measure potential difference in the in the resistance opposite to electric current the electric current is moving right side and i am moving left side potential difference opposite to the electric current flow in the resistance then that should be taken as positive positive value if you measure potential difference in the resistance opposite to electric current then that is taken as positive value so this is about the signs sign conventions and let us discuss one example here a b c d is a loop and here it is the battery let us say the potential difference in the battery is v and resistance r1 and resistance r2 in this loop this is the direction of electric current i is the current in the circuit then first i am starting from here so here i am moving from positive terminal to negative terminal so as we move from positive terminal to negative terminal then the potential difference should be taken as negative so here we are moving from positive terminal to negative terminal then the potential difference in the battery is negative value minus v then now the potential difference in the resistance so according to ohms law potential difference v equal to i into r so electric current in the circuit is i and the resistance is r1 so here we are moving opposite to electric current so the potential difference in the resistance taken as positive so as we move opposite to electric current in the resistance then the potential difference in the resistance is positive so the potential difference is positive that is nothing but electric current into resistance so similarly now we are measuring the potential difference in the resistance to so the electric current is i and the resistance is r2 so here we are moving in this direction opposite to the flow of electric current in the resistance we are moving so again the potential difference in the 
potential difference in the res second resistance is plus so this is so here in the battery the potential difference is decreasing and similarly the potential difference in the resistance is positive value so the total increase or decrease in these various components is equal to zero similarly now i am starting from the battery and moving negative terminal to positive terminal so then how so here first i am moving from negative terminal to positive terminal so here i am moving negative terminal to positive terminal and then potential difference should be taken as positive in the battery so the potential difference is plus v then i am moving in the direction of electric current in the resistance r2 so the potential difference if we measure in the direction of electric current in the resistance then that is taken as negative if we measure in the direction of electric current then the value of potential difference in the resistance is negative so i r2 similarly i am moving i am measuring potential difference in the first resistance and moving in the direction of electric current so this is also negative that is i r1 so total increases and decreases potential difference in this closed loop is zero this is about kirchhoff loop la thank you